Hello friends, this is Vikas from Networkers Home and today we are doing one small lab okay, we are going to see how to uh, install a VH for the SD van and how to get uh, it onboarded basically to get the certificate installed on it so the first thing I'm going to do is I will have one VH installed so I have two VHs already installed I'm going to install third one we need the ISO file. I'm doing it on ESXi and I will also show in next uh, lab where we will do it on EVNG. So here is my image 19.2.1 VH3. I'm saying next and that's all. It will we'll wait for a couple of seconds and then we'll see uh, how to configure it with the skinny configuration. Okay, it's up and we'll go here. I will do a basic skinny configuration based on my lab, but uh, the steps are going to be basically common for anybody else, provided uh, some of the values will change. It will take a couple of more seconds because it's initializing. The first thing I have to do is I have to reset the password or set up a new password for it. Now I will do the skinny configuration. So basic and the host name. VH3 v bond in my case is uh, 192.168.1.50 system ip is 110.1.1 dot is going to be 54 organization name is going to be sd van dash nh and site id is going to be 54 now let's set up a VPN 0. So my address is going to be 192.168.1.54. No shut. Tunnel interface. Allow protocol all. Allow protocol netconf. Allow protocol ssh okay and uh, i'm just saving the configuration here what i'll do is i'll do ssh to it because i'll have to copy few commands so i'm just going to open another connection here 192.168.1.54 So I'm on the CLI after doing the skinning configuration. If we want to see the configuration, we can see it here. The basic parameter that I have given are here and just a basic VPN zero configuration has been done. Nothing else at this time. Uh, if I do show control connections, I have nothing. If I do show certificate installed, I have nothing, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do is We'll have to install our certificate here. So I am going to install the master root certificate. Uh, just give me a second. I have the command somewhere. Okay, so this is my command. I will go to my vManage is acting as a manual CA server. So I will just go to that and I will issue this particular command here. Right, so it has been able to reach there and I got the master root certificate. Once that is installed, the next thing I have to do is I have to give only one additional command request. 
VH Cloud, activate JC, and then I have to go to V Manage to get my serial number. So here is I'm going to pick up this. So these two are already installed. You can see that here no certificate is just token generated, nothing else. And what I'll do is I'll just pick up this JC number. I'll go back to this and then the token number. I will also take token number from the same place. So the token number. Okay, that's all. Now let's go back to our here and do the refresh. You see that the certificate has only been installed. So th these are just two commands. If you see that, right, there are only two commands, which is required on new V edge. When you want to add it, you have to issue this command. And then you have to issue this particular command. You have you need uh, this. You can take it from V bond or you can actually take it from V manage also the JC number and the token number. Right. So these are the uh, just two commands. Let's do show control connections. I should have it in a couple of seconds. Show certificate installed. I have the certificate installed now. Show control connections. And you see that it takes a couple of seconds, but it does come up. Okay, if I go to V manage from here and I want to see it, it's already refreshed. Now you see that the token number has been converted to a serial number. So now I have all these three uh, devices working fine. And there were basically just two commands required. Nothing on V edge, nothing on V bone, nothing on V smart at this time. Everything has to be done on V edge itself, right? Just V edge. The rest of the things are already set up as you can see in the previous videos. So these, uh, this is how you get a V edge onboarded onto your network guys. Right. Hope uh, this video was useful and thanks for watching. Bye bye.